nice and simple. I like it. There we go, nice party. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on set and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. Hmm. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. Oh? New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if we manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. <laughs> All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. All right. <laughs> well, he's really not happy about that, is he? Oh, here we go. Wiretapping rackets. To wiretrap rackets break into junction boxes which can be found around a city. Wire trapping rackets helps Donovan mark targets of opportunity and collectibles on your map show oh on your map. Show unknown enemies in Intel view and allows you to recruit racket bosses. Ooh. What can I say? I'm just too good at what I do. Here we go again. Uh, wire trapping shows enemies on the minimap as well as the targets of opportunity and collectibles. Wire, wire tapping also allows you to recruit racket bosses and for more earn. Okay. Once a specific part of the city has been wiretapped, enemies can be seen around corners and even through walls in Intel view. To see current wiretapped rackets, press tab to open the map, then click toggle wiretap. To wiretap a junction, you'll need TL49 fuses. Collect views are scattered around new broad decks. Bitch, you ain't exactly over the moon about this. Me and Trigger were fucking tied. Oh, my God. Now he's gotta explain to Georgia how his guy let this happen. The fucking mess. Your fault. Sorry, I went to the wrong turn. Come on down to Cornelius for the family. Four finger Charlie told Zeke to go fuck himself. <laughs> so they're supposed to sweat to death in there packing the dope? That's what Zeke said. Charlie said, better that than little clouds of heroin blowing in every. God damn it! Ah. Hail that cocksucker off me! Oh, 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 oh. My God! I can only tie so much! I bet this a massive fun! Can move. That was your fault. Never judge me. Informants. Interrogate informants to gather intel on a racket and racket boss. Um, to get him to spill what he knows, isolate an informant from his crew, which I've done, or chase him to his car 
to drive like a madman. I thought that was it. Uh, after interrogating an informant, you can either kill them and earn a little bit of cash, or recruit them and increase the earn of a racket once you can take it over. Oh, amigo, how does it feel, eh? Now give me the information I desire! What's Four Finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is going to lose a lot of money. Hmm. Let's recruit. Nighty night, bitch. Wait. Okay, I want to do this wire tap over here because I want to see if I can. Nice and simple. Can't get enough. And I ain't exactly religious, but having the whole city supply sitting around here with the Jesus staring at us does make me a mind nervous. Covert approach. Using a covert approach, you can oh, you can quietly slip past enemies before into com before going into combat. Use Intel view, which is V, to scope out enemies and points of interest. Okay. Some bitch right there. He's killing us. What can I say? I'm just too good at what I do. Bro, I'm shooting you right in the head. Targets. Targets of opportunity are the people and making money opportunities for the racket. Destroy them to damage a racket. Targets of opportunity are marked on the mini map with the icon for the racket. Okay. <clears throat> Risks versus reward. Each target of opportunity contains information on its difficulty. Amount. Amount of racket damage dealt and the amount of money can to be found. View the targets on the mini map on the map, sorry, to check its risks and rewards first um, to inform your plan of attack. Huh? I'll be over here. <laughs> Gotta change legs! Watch yourself! Did I get him? Got this. I'm gonna have to call. Low. Can you send supplies to Delray Hollow? Be out directly. I need ammo desperately. Good. Call me if you need me. Dispatch out. He on out. 
I call the shots. Oh boy, this is gonna be mad. You heard from Mama? It better not be Mama cutting did. this shit with bacon. I so done told you that. She ain't dead. I just talked to her last week. It better just not be cutting this shit Mama, with bacon. So every day is the same day I think. Oh, go, go! That's it right there. The green, I got it all. Ain't asking for no hand, huh? The new port up the coast is pulling in all the trade these days. Go, go, go! Somebody call the cops! You think you're better than me? You ain't better than me! I'm going to get down in the lot of Damn. This ain't that skunk weed. What? Shit, I'm on it. Uh-huh. All my money back guaranteed, I bet. Ho oh, ho ho. Dinner with 31 very special Americans. Now this one looks like it's gonna be a big, big hassle. He ain't coming this way, is he? This guy Houdini or something? Looks he's on the run. Hey, motherfucker here! What's this? Ah, music. Okay. Yep, I've already done it. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. All right. Here we go. It's time to end this. <laughs> A lot. Does that mean I have missed people or recruiting bosses? Remember that you first remember that you previously wiretapped the church and it's smack racket. Because you've done this, you'll have the option to kill the racket boss for some quick cash or recruit them for improved earn in the long run. I don't know why it's taking me all the way over here. not to put Charlie in charge of the heroin, but he insisted. He said he owed Charlie a man or some shit. Charlie ain't half the man his pop was shit. When that nigga shows his face around here, we'll deal with him. And then deal with Charlie.
There's been a shooting. What do you think George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit? He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. Fuck. Comes to that, my ass is vanishing. George will never find me out there in that swamp. Charlie called in all the boys. We're good. Just need to hunker down and wait for that nigger to come to us. Think about Thomas Lee after my old man. It's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. Nah, I won't come to that. The boys will take care of it, you see. Jesus Christ! Hip uh. 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 He's got the pit! Help me out here! Trust me, no one's coming to help you, boy. Now perish. Actually, let's recruit. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. I uh, love it. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Can I grab this? Damn it! No! I was expecting one of them to get run over then. Please state your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Damn. What? Get in law. There's plenty more to come, motherfucker! Seems they found someone. Oh. Something serious. Oh.
this man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrapped me, is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could want to set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. I don't give a crap. Killing Richie. You've taken over the smack and prostitution racket. You're drawing Rick, Richie, Richie Duche and the Dixie Mafia out of their hole. Hitting Marcano. This is how you'll go after Marcano um, by uncovering and seizing control of his racket, criminal rackets, then confronting his lieutenants and capos. After taking down his rackets, you'll be able to go after Marcano himself. Go kill Rick. Richie Duche and take control of the hollow. Well, this has gotten a lot more serious indeed. But I think this is a good enough place to end it because we finished getting the church and now we're going after Richie. Indeed.